You got the drug guys. You got rapists. You've got killers. You can't have this discussion without talking about what Donald Trump has said and done and the way that that has really, you know, pissed people off. Mr. Trump right now has about 23 percent favorability among Latinos. Unless he pivots very hard, he has a good chance of losing the election. Trump dice, él tiene como, como mente de que si aunque usted sea eh, residente de este país, él, él puede hacer una deportación sobre su persona. Él no puede deportar a un ciudadano. Buenas tardes. ¿Está registrado para votar? Sí. ¿Sí? ¿Está para votar? No, ¿es elegible? No. Ok, gracias. To register, a lot of times it's hard because they're either scared or they're like, oh, I don't have time. But it's so easy. It, it takes a minute to register. It's not, it's not easy. I haven't really voted in the past except now because of Trump uh, hating on Hispanics, having, you know, being more racist than anything else. I will build a great, great wall on our southern border, and I will have Mexico pay for that wall. Yeah. Mark my words. Yeah. With this Trump want to put the wall here, what the right. hell are you going to do with no Mexicans? There's enough of us right now, in this state, we can come out there and we can actually make a difference. Most people don't realize that 51 percent of the Latino voters identify as independents. So they think independently about the issues and they go with a candidate that they feel are going to be key on those issues.